Tony Frank. I'm back with an, our, our July edition of Covering Classic Cars with California Car Cover. And today, I'm at the Lions Automobile Foundation uh, with Lana Chrisman, the uh, foundation's executive director. So yes. thank you for coming today. And uh, I guess, how did you get involved with the, uh, the foundation? Well, I started out as a volunteer. Uh, when they first opened up and were doing their big events in the back lot, um, Rob and Rick asked me to just kind of help out a little bit, help out my marketing. And uh, one thing led to another, and <laughs> you know, I'm now I'm here as the executive director. Okay. And and how are you enjoying it? I guess I guess you gotta love cars. But you do. <laughs> I I think you have to love cars. You have to love uh, the people in the car community. And uh, I grew up in this industry, so I just it, it was a great match for me. And I guess you know it's it's called the Lions Automobile Foundation. Right? Yes. But. The history of like the Lions drag strip and the racing is pretty much the back third of this place. So if you haven't, if someone hasn't been here before, there's no idea that all the classic cars, the hot rods, right. the one, the room of just willies, like um, the movie cars, like uh, there's a lot going on at this place that's way beyond just. So if you're not into just vintage drag racing, there's there's a lot to there's a lot to see here. Right, and our slogan is we're more than a museum. Also, I mean we yes we have the Lions Drag Strip Museum set up. It's a you know a great area. We have 32 cases, you know, of memorabilia from all the legends, <clears throat> excuse me, and drivers. Uh, great display. We have you know of course another 120 cars on display, classic cars, you know. But beyond that, you know, we have it set up. We're we're launching in July our education program. So we're bringing in the Boys and Girls Club of America and start teaching K through eight you know, about the car industry. And, you know, so we're starting out with a Pinewood Derby build, and then we're going to move up to hydrogen car builds. And then uh, for the high school kids, we're going to start teaching them how to build engines. So we're, like I said, we want to be more than just a car destination. This is going to be somewhere where people can really count on us to try to uh, continue the car culture for Southern California. And, then, and, you know, you touched on what you're doing the education for kids, which is great. I have young daughters that I dragging the car shows every weekend and, really? and so I'm like well and, they, and some days they like them some days they don't right but right. um you know but also you're helping out I guess the 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 older clientele because um I was unaware that you have a full restoration facility correct so yes, you're helping yes. um people will, like restore the vehicles to how to like I guess museum quality exactly exactly and what's great about that I mean that involves the trades so it ties in with our education and our career path program where it's like you know, if you don't know, if you're coming out of high school and you don't know what you want to do, you know, that an option is paint and body or assembly or fabrication. And a lot of the Detroit, you don't see that in schools anymore. And so we're just trying to expose the kids, you know, what their options are. And as you know, I mean, this is a great industry to be in. It's wonderful people. And, you know, we just want to expose you know, kids that don't get that that one-on-one -on -one and understand what our industry is about. Yeah, and we, I guess, we talked a little bit earlier, like, you know, Lana and I were spoiled because our families are in this business and we've, this is our, for, for better or worse, this is like our lives. We don't know so any better. Like, I, I don't know any better, so I don't know if it's, that's good or bad, I just, exactly. I'm oblivious. You know, friends making millions of dollars, I'm like, okay, I don't know, okay. I, guess, I, I guess I'm missing the boat, but okay, I, we're happy. Yeah, 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 we're loving what we're doing. Right. Um, so, you know, we touched on some of the lions and uh, all the great work you're doing here. Like, you know, you mentioned that, you know, one thing led to another, like, how did this start? Because it's, you said 100,000 square feet? We're 100,000 square feet. Yeah. So, it, 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 so one thing did lead to another to get It really more, did. I mean, it started out with our founder, Rick Lorenzen. He grew up in Wilmington and used to go to Lions Drag Strip. And his parents owned a gas station in Wilmington. So he hung out at the gas station and went to Lions. And um, he just always loved He loved going there and watching the Stonewoods and Cooks Willys. That was his favorite car. So after a while, his, uh, his parents uh, ended up selling the gas station. They uh, purchased a company um, and started a trucking company, which is Price Transfer. And the success out of that enabled Rick to go back and start enjoying everything he did in his past. And one of the first things he did, he started buying the cars. We started out in the corner of this museum <laughs> buying one car and just it, it added up to over 120 cars. One thing led to another. Yeah, it just kind of <laughs> adds to another. And then he was able to locate the Stonewoods and Cook Swindler B, the original car. And he was fortunate enough to be able to purchase that and put it in the museum. So he's he says when he walks into this building, it's like walking back in time to a similar time, a time that he really enjoyed in his in his youth. And so that's what the Lions Museum is about. And you know, this whole industry, when you talk about SEMA and the, mm -hmm. the drag racing, like, no matter what, like, 
whatever, whatever you loved in high school, that's what's always cool to you. Right, so Rick right. just turned that passion into this incredible museum. Exactly. And um, yeah, it's, it, it's, if you haven't been here, like really there's the display cases and photos and then the just dioramas, the, like, I mean, everything. The and the, um, yeah, the, the sets, like the murals, mm -hmm. like um, it's, it's, just, it's going back in time to like a SoCal hot rodding and drag racing. Right. And the, yeah, the, I think everyone gets blown away by the, the Lions drag strip set up. Cause just, just, that's just the starting line. I think that that whole, I don't know, whatever you call it is just incredible. Right. That's when just, you walk in there, you're like, and it's in a separate room. So you walk through these double doors and you see this, you know, the starting line and all this glory. And a lot of people who race at Lions and have come back and see it, it, it brings tears to their eyes. It brings back all those wonderful memories. So that's great for us because yeah. it's like, oh, that's great, you know, we're we're achieving our goal. Yeah, and there's and it, and it, but it's not just jet racing. Like you know, there's there's I think the mural that shows off like the Long Beach, Long Beach Grand, Grand Prix. Prix. Right. There's um, you know, we'll we could I think we could talk for like an hour probably oh, over yeah. everything that's going on here. As of right now, our our, our catalog team's working in the like I guess that's the cinema car room, that's Hollywood, our Hollywood room. room. Right, yeah. right. And so there's a handful of movie cars in there for those. Like Los Angeles people, there's a row of Helms Bakery auto vehicles. Right. Those are our service vehicles because we are a trucking company. Mm -hmm. That's our main supporters, our tra price, price transfer. So we have the service vehicles in there. Mm -hmm. And then our new area, which will be for Southern California water sports, will include, you know, dirt track racing, land speed racing, uh, you know, offshore racing with Marine Stadium. So we have a lot coming up in the future here. And then, and yeah, we we got to see. I guess we got a sneak peek of the, the room that it's it's coming together. Now, right. is there? Any, uh, do you know when the the big events room will be open? We are trying. Hoping. I'm hoping. I'm hoping <laughs> soon. I I have people wanting to utilize it already. Um, most likely, it'll. I'm thinking August. Most likely, it'll be fully functional. We're still putting in, you know, all of our audio, video equipment, and everything. We're still having to furnish the room and start putting in all the all the exhibits into the room. Yeah, and it's in. So yeah, so there's, you know, there's always events taking a place here, and, right. and uh, my team and I are so thankful that Lana would come in really early on a Saturday because the museum opens to the public at 10 a.m. Yes. And when we looked at your upcoming events, it seems like almost every Saturday there's a, a car club or an organization right. here hanging out. You know, I, I was here in the winter time during one of your toy drives, mm -hmm. and there's lots of people coming in and out, a lot of classic cars on display. Right. So are there any, um, you know, so I guess this interview go, goes out in. I guess be in the summertime in July. Is there anything in the summer that our, our well, in the summertime fans we're doing know our, about? Yeah, we're doing our All American Truck Jamboree, which is going to be off road Jeeps, Broncos, uh, classic trucks. And then we also, what do we have coming up in the summer? In August, we have our custom car show. You know, so we have, like, like you said, almost every weekend there's something. Once a month, there's going to be a major event where we have, you know, a real emphasis. We just had, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I know next weekend. June 11th, we're having our funny car event. So it's as many funny cars as we can gather here in Southern California. Well, I think that'll be, I think with what you have going on here, I think that'll be a real, real, real big weekend for right, you. Right, right. So. It'll be a good time. Mm -hmm. And I guess you said 120 cars, you know, the drag strip display, like, mm -hmm. and your, your history of a drag racing. Like, what, do you have a favorite car in the, in the collection? Other than my two, <laughs> I don't know. Well, I will yeah. say, okay, uh, see, look yeah, at this. I do, yeah, no, I have, I have my father's 29 Model A, which is his first race car, and unfortunately, we're able to keep it here in the Lions Museum. But one of my favorite cars is, um, shoot, probably uh, this Hollywood 88 Olds. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, it was built by Ron Shaver, who does an amazing job. Our team here at Lions did the paint and body and the entire restoration. It's called Redwood Wine, so if you ever come and check it out, it's a beautiful car. Right. I'm pretty sure when I take my lap, we'll get some shots here. We'll make sure to um, um, get some shots so that's our customers can see it. And then we also they can go to the Lions uh, Foundation website to see right. all the latest events. And you know, um, and, uh, real quick, I want to make sure we're, we're again, we're, we can talk for, for ages <laughs> on it. Thank you. You know, besides the uh, cars on display, like, like the sets, I guess mm -hmm. they're kind of somebody from Hollywood came in and like helped you out. But we did. Like right now we're sitting in the arcade mm -hmm. slash pool hall slash poker room. <laughs> but there's a full on replica diner in here. Yes. There's um, you know in the in the Hollywood room, Hollywood room. There's like the facades of like a music shop, a barber shop, right. Like a hobby store. Like where was like the vision or where is the inspiration well, and, for and those? And that's all Rick. That <laughs> is all Rick trying to bring back that simpler time. I know at the beginning when you walk through the museum, you're actually going to walk through a 1960s speed shop. 
So you're going to walk in like you're coming to a speed shop before you walk into the entrance of the museum. Uh, and then you're going to see like an old gas station, which was Rick's, a replica of Rick's parents' gas station in Wilmington. So um, we have a 1950s diner that's fully functional that was created by a Hollywood set designer. I knew it. See, there had yeah, to be a... <laughs> it was a Hollywood set. And it was in actually... It's, in too, movie, it's too good. Yeah. It was a movie 9-11. Okay. So it was, it was in there. And then our Hollywood room, uh, Rick actually took the team down to Disneyland and they photographed Main Street going, this is how I want to feel when I walk into my museum. And so the dioramas in that room uh, were inspiration from Disney from down there. And, but it was great. The hobby shop itself actually has some vintage models in it. Yeah, I was looking in there. I said, yeah, these are going to be all Those are, And they're yeah. unwrapped. I mean, it's great. So uh, it's just the detail of this museum. And, and Rick and Robert Casey, our director of operations, did an amazing job. And I think that's what I think, um, like just the detail, because yeah. you know, like I'm lucky we're getting behind the ropes today. Mm -hmm. I think uh, you, Lana, your volunteer Randy, Rick, and then like, there's four or five of us in the building, so we could, could take the time to look at all the little things. Like I was just right. looking at um, some of the signs, like over from the drag strip, and how just like all like the announcement signs and the warning signs that are there, and just everything and the display cases, like just. Right. Rick West was on the was sent, making a lot of phone calls well, to get that much merchandise there. Not this, merchandise, but those, that much nostalgia like, right, to, right. in the space. And what's special about the showcases, most of the showcases were done by each of the families or the legends. So you're seeing personal items that usually you don't see in museums. And so you're seeing their, their private mm -hmm. treasures in each of them. We have 32 cases that way. And so it's really special. I think there's one thing with our museum, you come in, it's a very warm, comforting feeling. You feel like this is a this is a great place to be. You walk away happy, and that's how we wanted everyone to feel like you know, this is a great destination. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a museum. It just feels like a really really big out. garage. Yeah, just hanging out at someone's <laughs> like garage. Like the biggest man cave you've been in, right? Right, so, right, exactly. And, um, well, thank you so much. I think um, yeah, it's it's an incredible venue. Just yeah, they said the detail, everything on display here, and you know, I'm no cinema director but we're our team's going to put together a little uh, this video here to show, kind of show, highlight everything but you'll see so many amazing things uh, on display here okay. well again thank you so much and then uh yeah check out our youtube channel again it's tony to frank with covering classic cars um, and check us again next time next time we get together with one of our great uh, customers or friends